Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's been a long time, I'm sorry, I've been incredibly busy. Um, for those of you who follow my Facebook page, um, you'll know that my internet's still not that great, so it takes me an extremely long time to upload sometimes. However, I've decided to try to get back into this um, with the time that I have, and hopefully I won't have too many problems with upload times. But we are going to be playing The Binding of Isaac after birth. Just a heads up, um, I'm going to be using my previous save file that I already have. Um, I've got 100 and I believe 95 hours in it right now, so we'll go ahead and hop in here. Um, sorry if you guys can see my mouse cursor there. We're going to do a new run. Uh, just so you guys can see what I have unlocked, I've got most of the items so far. Um, pretty much working on getting the final things done and then moving on to hard mode. Um, I'm pretty much going to be playing in hard mode from now on so we're going to... let's see... let's see if we can go for... Uh, let's try to go for Mega Satan as Eden. If this fails then... oh well. Okay. Not bad. We start with the ability to fly and the ability to ram into things as well as an eternal heart. Every time I want to use that. Um, we all start with no health. Oh, that's not good. Yep. I hate Muggle-Booms. muggle, -booms. muggle -booms, however you pronounce their names. Um... I don't know a lot of the enemies' names, however, um, as you guys could probably, oh god, no, leave me alone, figure I know how to dodge most enemies, um, since I've been playing this for so long, get out of here, troll bomb, get out of here, sacrifice me, actually, you know what, that goes on that one, now that I'm paying attention and noticing that I only have freaking Soul Hearts. Unfortunately, we don't have Spectral Tears yet, so I can't really cheese anything um, with my Transcendence. Hopefully, we get something good from this first item room. Uh, I would take this pill, but I'm kind of worried it'll be a uh, bad trip or a health down, and I really don't need that right now, so we're going to wait. Oh, jeez. and pop that open. Oh boy. So, this game I've owned since I believe the 27th of November. I've made a lot of progress as you guys can tell. Um, I usually do at least two or three runs a day on my own. And I gotta say, this is one of my most enjoyable games that I've played. Um, in 2015, I feel like it's given me a lot of content, it's given me a lot of playtime, uh, it gives me a good challenge, it gives me, you know, something to do when I don't really feel like I have anything else to do, and um, it never really gets boring, there's always something for me to do in this game, uh, there still will be even when I get 1,001%, uh, which I do plan on doing. Um, hopefully when I get that moment it will be on camera. Um, I probably won't record every single session I do simply because that would be a lot of recording. I don't know if I'd ever be able to get all of that up. But I will, if it looks like the run is going somewhere, I will try to like start recording. So there may be recordings you guys don't see everything of if you do, you know. I apologize, but that may just be how that is. Um, so, wow, that was dumb of me. I can't believe I let that hit me. I was focused on s my tears, which were different. So I wonder which Zodiac Adam we had last for. Oh god, Super Wrath. That's not fun. Hello, Super Wrath. How are you today? You can keep your troll bomb to yourself, though, bud. Oh. I don't know where the fuck that came from, but okay. I guess there's a tinted rock. Oh, and we got freaking Mr. Mega. Let's go ahead and use this. Speed down. Oh. 
that's not very good since we already have a ooh mom's eye back in the head uh, we need plus two luck for that to activate every time as you guys can see I have a um, hidden HUD 2 on so I can keep better track of my stats I don't really use any other mods um, besides one that shows me the status of charge items like um, Monstro's Lung or Tech X or Brimstone stuff like that simply because I feel like that stuff is a big help if I don't necessarily count you know time between shots or I get the occasional build where I can't see my face and I can't tell what stage the charge is in it's just extremely helpful sometimes we're gonna save that battery in that room for after I get a charge on this so I can get two hearts this floor hopefully um, one from the charge I'm about to get and one from the charge we originally had and then another going on to the next floor if we get lucky we might be able to pull more batteries this item honestly isn't the greatest but could be a big help on later floors because of the fact that I could get a lot of batteries and essentially just keep regenerating health um, in a manner of speaking as long as I don't get hit a lot okay so whoa uh, let's see let's just go into this room okay this isn't bad just some little pop of fly things I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop a bomb here. And there's the secret room. Figured it would be there. Um, secret rooms are usually surrounded on at least two sides. You know, from what I can tell. Ooh, pills. Ooh, we get two pretty flies. That's really amazing. Let's go ahead and pop this. And let's go ahead and. We're not necessarily going to pop this right off the bat just in case we get an eternal heart from... Oh, one of my friends is playing Binding of Isaac now. To, what was I saying? Uh, in case we get an eternal heart from the uh, boss fight, that way we can just go ahead and have one for the next floor. I uh, usually don't use bombs on just regular enemies like this, but figure why not. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this. I mean, I usually don't, but that gave me a health down. Uh, it gave me a luck up, though, which might help. Ooh, I really want to take that, but I won't because I'm going to try for Mega Satan. Since he's the only thing I haven't done on this character yet, so yeah, we're going to just go ahead and pop this. And on to the next floor. So this will recover the health down we just got. Unfortunately, that did kind of screw us over. I usually don't take experimental treatment unless it's on a really early floor. Because most of the time I get screwed over. And, ooh, we got um, Aquarius for the Trail of Tears. So because we can fly, we won't get hurt by Creep or Toxic. Or, yeah, now we definitely won't get hurt. Kind of not necessary considering what we have. Um, I would drop a bomb there but let's see if this is, yes, yeah, so that won't be the secret room because of the way this room is set up. What you doing there buddy? Oh you have Ipecac. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that kind of champion before honestly. That's really weird. Is there anything useful in here? Uh, probably not. I usually don't do arenas unless they contain multiple chests um, that way I have a good chance of getting something that's worth the um, time it takes not necessarily oh I might lose health um, though that becomes the issue in later floors once we hit the womb and stuff since everything does a total uh, whole heart of damage but I don't really like to waste time okay so I think this is where the um, secret room is going to be is down here Ooh, we really need to damage up. I'm gonna leave these guys down here and then drop the bomb. There we go, that helped. Ah. So, if you guys like this, I can try to put it up more. Um, I'm probably gonna upload these until I get someone saying, hey, you know, or, well, not necessarily one person, but until it shows that these aren't really a popular video on my channel. 
Uh, but considering my channel's small, uh, we're at, I believe, 83 subs right now. 83 or 85, something like that. Um, there won't be a whole lot of feedback. So, I'll probably upload these. I'll try for at least once a week. Um, start off with a small promise and then work our way up. That way I don't disappoint you guys. Um, apparently I got a... Black, oh, I already dropped a bomb there. What am I doing? Got a black heart at some point in time. I don't remember this, but I won't complain. Um, maybe I got it from the champion. I got two... Oh, that's right. I got two black hearts from the uh, devil room. That's right. We need to not get hit so we can keep that chance for an angel deal. Those two pretty flies are really going to help. Um, ooh. Full heart. Uh, so, those pretty flies, as I was saying, those pretty flies are really going to help. Uh, we got really lucky with that. Um, oh, shit. Well, at least we didn't lose a black card, though. We otherwise would have lost had I not gone in the shop. Please give me a magic mushroom. Damn. Well, we're almost at two luck, so this thing's pretty much going to proc every time. Not every time right now, but as you guys can tell, it's proccing nearly every time. I'll try to do this as fast as possible. A run usually takes me about 30 minutes or so. Depending on stuff like this, right now, you know, as you guys can tell, I have really, really low damage. So, it may take a little bit longer. It kind of sucks that our damage is so low, because it means that we're not going to be able to, uh, there's still turd left, um, do very much to enemies, so killing shit's going to take a little bit longer. Oh, heart and key. This is going to be good. Ah, that's alright. If this were Isaac... I would have been rolling so many things. Uh, at the very least, we should be able to kill um, Mom's heart and stuff, so unlock a new baby, maybe, maybe baby, and um, get some new hard mode marks for Eden. Since I am going to try to get all 276 achievements as well, um, simply because this is a game I really enjoy. and. You know, I enjoy the challenge of the game, and, I mean, the hardest part's one of the hardest parts. So, out of the way, I've done everything with the loss, as you guys can see. That was a pain in the ass. I got really dumb in this run, but with the lost, I got some really lucky runs. Alright. Ah, oh, the hollow, another easy boss. Basically, Larry Jr. just flying around with the speed of sound. Wow. I cannot believe I just missed that. Okay, let's drop it. Push. Alright, one down, one to go. Simply, like I said, doing this so it goes a little bit faster. Uh, normally, I don't really care about time unless I'm trying for boss rush or hush. But, I do care about getting this done in a reasonable amount of time. Fuck, we got another devil deal. Ah, oh, but we got two more black hearts. Kind of sucks that Satan's giving us some um, really good items because we need angel deals. All right, guys. So let's take this pill. Health up. That was actually a good pill. All right, guys. So I am going to pause the recording here. I will resume just in a little bit. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys. Welcome back. So didn't really miss anything the only things that really happened are um, as you guys can tell I got a health up pill I got a uh, little bit more health I've almost got another charge on my item as well we got the halo right there and I also picked up um, there's options from the store because ironically or luckily enough right across from the or the room connected to the store was a um, shit was a set of golden poops seems to do more damage because of the Mr. Mega kind of sucks that we got hit there um was really hoping to fuck save that mmm um we're gonna go with the box 
good to clubs is okay. We'll go with that. Range, Range down. down. Oh well. Let's go ahead and move on to the next floor. Ooh, Curse of the Labyrinth. Okay, so this is probably going to take a while, guys. So I'm going to cut till we find item rooms and stuff, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright, guys, welcome back. Uh, so the only things you really missed are... I pretty much cleared the um, areas. Didn't really get much, unfortunately. Um, so as you guys can see, I got the ceremonial robes. I had a um, devil beggar. Which I could have blown up for an angel room and probably should have, but I feel like I really needed an item to help. Um, so I just went ahead and gave him my health. Uh, we bought the red candle and the Bible from the shop. Um, really, really, let me fucking store credit now. So the reason I bought the Bible was to help work towards the Seraphim transformation. Um, don't really even know if it would do us any good, but I did it anyways. Um, so I'm going to keep the red candle because the red candle is really good um, for dealing damage. So as you guys can see, I kind of left those there so you guys could see me get those. Um, as well as, you know proof that I got what I said I got. So we got the devil, we got the tick, which is really good in my opinion, because yeah, you can't really get any others um, because of that, but it allows you to do 15% of a boss's health upon entering the uh, boss arena, as well as doing or healing you for four at heart, which I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it can be really freaking useful on the harder floors. Especially when you're going down into, like, the womb and stuff, and, you know, you're worried about how much health you've got left, and you aren't getting any health, or whatever, yada yada. So, oh, placenta is really good. I'm gonna take it. I took it. Alright, so now we're gonna go down and grab health up. Uh, I'm at full health, however, health up will still restore my health when I use it, which is the main reason I'm keeping it with me and why I haven't used it so far, because I felt there wasn't really any point in me getting rid of that, you know, free health up. Oh, excuse me, mommy dearest, you aren't allowed to do that. You really aren't allowed to do that. How about you step on a bomb, bitch? How about you do that? That'd make everybody happy. Eat my red candle, bitch. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about red candle is the fact that it does block shots. God damn it, Satan, go away. Um, we'll just go ahead and do Isaac. And just didn't do Krampus, so this was useless. Just kind of trying to see if I could have gotten a lump of coal. No, I'll take the bomb, whatever. So, unfortunately, we're probably not going to get to do Mega Satan. Um, due to the fact we literally have to get a uh, key piece in both of these next floors. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. You want to die for me? Thank you. Ceremonial robes really helped out because they gave us a damage up. Um, so I'm really happy I got that. It'll make this run a little bit faster. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the recording on for the rest of these rooms. Unless I feel it's going too slow and it'd just be better to stop it. Okay. How about you don't? Oh, that looks tented. I was wrong. We're all wrong occasionally. Oh, there's a soul heart in that poop. Um, as far as Tinted Rocks go, I am aware that I can't get any Soul Hearts or anything. However, getting the Small Rock would be very beneficial to me. Please die. Thank you. Oh, nope, you get back here. Got another bomb. This doesn't go anywhere, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. 
Uh, obviously, we didn't make it in time to do Hush or any of the uh, extra little challenges, but that's okay because we weren't really going for them. Uh, I actually don't think I would have minded doing Hush since we've got, you know, decent damage. We've got a good usable now, and uh, we've got fucking really good health, and we've got two pretty flies. So it's a bit of a shame that we didn't make it in time to do Hush because I am going to need to do that on hard. But, oh well, you know, you win some, you lose some, you can't win them all. Uh, we'll do what we can with this run, if nothing else, you know, like I said before, we're getting some uh, hard mode completion marks, which is always nice. To work towards those uh, final secret achievements, which are going to be a pain in the ass. Since I'm going to have to hard mode 100% every character, the Lost is already done, so thank god that's done. But, you know, still have to do it for the Keeper and stuff, which is going to suck. Um, however, personally, I enjoy the Keeper. Um, at least more than I enjoy the Lost. Because with the Keeper, you can at least get some really, really, really good builds to keep him alive. Whereas the Lost, if you don't have any projectile um, blockers, you're kind of screwed. Just because, you know, two hits and you're dead. Uh, if you get lucky enough to get Holy Mantle, even. If you don't have Holy Mantle, then you're just kind of shit out of luck. Um, because you're forced to just do the entire thing with only one hit. Which is, oh, that was my last coin, I guess. So, well, I guess we'll just blow this up then. Give me something good, please. Uh, money, which is what I would have needed to put into you. But, okay. Nope. Whoops, it is easy. Uh, not sure what Zodiac we have. My Taurus hasn't crocked in quite some time. So, I don't know if it's because I'm not being able to build enough speed, or if it um, has something to do with the Zodiac uh, that I picked up. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't really ever see the Zodiac that much. So, I'm not 100% sure how it works with the other Zodiacs. Um, I do know it gives me a random Zodiac every floor. I do know how most of these items work. Um, as I mentioned before, I have almost 200 hours in the game, so... I've seen pretty much every item. I've gotten every item at least once, I believe. Um, except for Godhead. I do not think I've managed to pull that in a run yet, unfortunately which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Maybe we'll get it this run if we get lucky enough to find that angel deal that we need. Uh, fingers crossed about that. Godhead would be really good. Um, we've already got the Halo, um, which I don't know if it counts towards the Seraphim, actually. And that was... Oh my god, I can't believe I just ran into that. So that pretty much sealed the deal. We are more than likely not going to get Dad's key now. Um, unless I sacrificed a bunch of health. I just realized that I could just sacrifice a bunch of health to the sacrifice room there. So let's see if we can get lucky enough to get some healing items. Because that would be great. Uh, if need be, I will use my health up here. Um, probably won't use my health up in all honesty, though. Because... Oh god, Daddy Long Legs, hello. I'm going to want to save it for Mega Satan. That's the main reason I've hung on to it so long, and I just got run into by a spider. Oh my god, we got less than three. We're about to abuse the shit out of this. Let me go ahead and, um pick up this heart. Is there any others? There's a soul heart, but that unfortunately does not do us any good. So, fuck that. I'm gonna just drop that real quick. I uh, don't think so. We're just gonna see if we can't get anything from these. Because honestly, anything will help. Alright guys, so I'm going to pause the recording and come back when I have the key pieces. Alright guys, and we have the key. I got Scapular and Holy Shot um, 
from that, so that's really good. Keep me health. Oh, I can't believe we got that lucky, guys. Um, since we're going to do Mega Saiyan, I don't know if I'll fight um, good old Blue Baby. Simply because uh, we might die trying to do so. Oh, okay. I guess you could do that. I don't know how you managed to hit me when I was going around like that, but whatever. Um, we don't, I don't really care about the angel deals anymore. So, if somehow I pull a devil deal, which I can guarantee that I won't pretty much, I would probably go for that instead so we can try to get some better items. Hopefully there's something good in here. Uh, two, 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 two. Um, I believe that's the one that re-rolls all pickups on the floor. Actually, no, that's three. I don't remember what that one does. So I won't touch that until I look that up. Oh my god, we are just taking so much damage. And we really shouldn't be, because this is really easy shit to dodge. Okay, you gave me three batteries. Um, I really don't need that. I really don't know why you do that. Um, oh, that's right, we have placenta, so if need be, I will literally just sit here and wait. Unfortunately, we don't have Nod Leaf, or it would be a guaranteed win against Mega Satan. I could pretty much just do a little bit of damage in one sec, guys. Sorry about that, guys. My mom needed me for a moment. Um, that was a horrifying noise. I don't know if you guys actually heard that or not. That is something that I would not that I would not mind ever hearing again. That was oh well, you gotta do this game. Usually the game's nice and it gives me that without any repercussions. I can just go in. Oh good, blue polyphemus. How about should I? I will cheese you like you've never been cheesed before. Don't like any boss like this that hides underground. They make me nervous. I, I feel like these kinds of bosses are cheap as well because if you lose track of them, um, as you often do with the stains, since it's really freaking easy, um, at least I often do with the stain, it's really easy to get damage racked up on you because they could literally just pop up at any time and screw you over, especially with bosses like the Lost. I actually had one run with... Fuck that guy. I hate these enemies. Any whack-a-mole enemy I hate more than anything. Anyways, as I was saying, I had one really good run with the Keeper that I got fucked over because I popped my wooden nickel, I did proc, and um, I had the room in the chest where it gives you the stain and two polyphemus. I believe that's the name of the boss. It could be wrong. I could be mixing it up with the item. If I am, I apologize. Um, and I basically just got screwed over. I had to use my card to teleport out, and honestly, it screwed me over even more because it teleported me to a room with two of the gate, I believe. It's either the gate or the maw, I cannot remember which at the moment. And that screwed me over something foul. I'm going to see if I can't just drop a bomb right there. Okay, shlunk. Alright, so there's Penny. Do I need that? Do need the boss room though. Let's just see if we can't. I screwed that up. Like an idiot. Okay, this is slightly annoying. We're gonna just gonna jump up there. Secret room, no. Super secret room, no. Get rid of an enemy though, so that helps. Unfortunately, our luck isn't higher. I wish it was that way. Um, holy shot would proc more, but unfortunately, our luck is what it is. Oh man, we didn't get. Any help all this for. That really sucks. Okay, okay. See, normally this isn't an issue for me. So normally I have 
damage. This time, we don't have shit for damage. And it really fucking sucks. Dueling Mega Satan's gonna suck as well. Since we don't have damage, which is why I really don't know if I want to do, um... Question mark, question mark, question mark, aka Blue Baby. Because of the fact that we don't really have damage, I really don't want to be there forever. Please just die. Thank you. Please give me something. And we got a glitch baby. Nice. Alright, well. I'm going to quickly look up what that dice room does. Be right back, guys. Okay, so it just rerolls pickups in that room. So that's not necessarily anything we need to bother with. We're going to do this. Uh, so let's pop right into here. I hate this room. Alright guys, this is probably going to take a little bit so I'll just be right back. Alright, well that was annoying. Thankfully it is over with. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, this, yep. The thing I hate most about not having damage, I can't really counter a lot of things. It gave me Aquarius on a boss room on the floor where the boss flies. Insulting game. Do you know how insulting that is? Really wish we had. Oh, my voice cracked. I really wish I had spectral tears so I could cheese this guy, but whatever. I the red candle is up. I'm still the door the red candle. Let's see if there's a cigar room here. Please be a cigar room. Please be a cigar room. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay. All troll bombs. Wow, that's really unlucky. Two of diamonds, that doesn't help us at all. Anything down here? No, unfortunately not. Okay, you need to die, you need to die, you need to die. Ah, fortunately we do have our pretty flies. What is this? Oh, I don't know, don't want to risk getting something bad this late in the game. Oh god, I hate greed. You wanna, you wanna die, Greed? Are y'all both literally at like one health? That's annoying. Agreed. Wanna die? Uh, dead head, dead friend, dead something. Okay. You all need to die. Oh, this is quite annoying. I do not like these enemies, but it could be worse. Could have another room full of envies and death heads. Okay, here we go. Please give me something good. Please give me health. Thank you. I wasn't needing that. Give me something good. Maybe give me a key and a coin. Then if I don't ask you to give me something good, you can give me complete trash. That is how the game works sometimes, though. I wonder why that didn't go anywhere. Okay, I hate the Hitless Horseman. Um, I don't know the things I hate. Um, I hate a lot of things in this game. Uh, not because they're hard or they're, um, uh, most of them because they are annoying. The main culprit of this is fucking the bloat. The bloat is, in my opinion, the most annoying boss in the entire game. More annoying than Teratoma, more annoying than any version of... Okay, good, we're going the right way. Um, Fisticus, or however his name is actually pronounced. Simply because his lasers proc just immediately when you come inside their hitbox. Like, there is absolutely no delay to it. And it's, in my opinion, it's really cheap that it does that. Because it doesn't really give you any time to dodge at all whatsoever. A Monster 2.0 is a good example of another boss that I really hate, simply because he is annoying. Super secret room, please, although I think Asmus sort of showed it to me. Alright, Isaac, my dear boy, buddy Val. You are a fairly easy boss. Thus, I should not take damage on you. I will try my best not to. That is the only annoying attack, in my opinion. 
sensed walking. Okay, good. Kill your own guys. Pretty cool with that. You wanna start teleporting around? Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck. Okay, 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 fuck. Okay, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really know if that could have been avoided because of my low damage. Um, there was not really anything I could do about that due to the fact that he had spawned the angels and the angels are annoying his dicks. And I should have been able to dodge that. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I have never had him stay on the field that long after I got him to start teleporting around. That was quite odd for me. Usually I get him down. He doesn't even... Normally it's like that. He doesn't even do another attack. Alright, alright. Let's finish this up. Really, Isaac, my boy. Really. Alright, onto the chest we go. Hopefully we get some good items from this. If not... Oh, no! Well, that's horrible. You take that just because. Oh man, oh boy. Alright, guys, well, I guess I will be back when I'm at full health, and then we will go fight Mega Satan. Alright, guys, welcome back. It is time for us to fight Mega Satan. Let's do this. Uh, real quick though, I'm going to make sure that my gamma is all the way up. Normally I leave it at the base 120, but I'm going to make sure you guys can see better, and this is Mega Satan, so I'm going to need to be able to see as much as possible. Unfortunately, Mega Satan's a bit of an asshole when it comes to everything. Mega Satan, did you just dodge my bomb? You cheeky cunt. I'm gonna stay away from you. You gotta say the, uh, transcendence is... Wow, that was dumb of me. Oh, I was wrong. That doesn't heal me. Oh, shit stains. I should have been more careful. Okay. Lesson learned. Not going to make that mistake again. However, I do know there are some she spots in this. At least when it comes to Mega Satan. We're going to get rid of death as quickly as we can since he spawns enemies. Curious as to what um, effect we got from the Zodiac. I ain't gonna lie, uh, Aquarius actually would have come in handy for this one. Satan. I'm gonna go ahead and mega blast me if you can. But you can't cause you're a cunt. And there goes hands, it's a hundred damage. Okay, I was expecting the mega blast again, not this. And quickly, hello super envy. Alright, I need to do this as fast as possible. I don't know if this one's on a timer or not. Gotta be fast but cautious. Because I don't want to get hit by anything. Next part is, in my opinion, the hardest when he spawns uh, Super Pride, Super Gluttony, Super Greed, and Super Wrath at the same time. So you bet your fine asses that I'm gonna kill this. Oh, no, it's not the next one. It must be the one after this. Who's the spawn? Uh, super... L he spawns... Okay, so if it's not Wrath, it's, um... Da -da 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 -um. Pride. He doesn't spawn Ultra Pride, though. Thank God. Ultra Pride would be a bitch to fight. Okay, I just gotta make sure I stay... Ooh, 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 ooh. Gluttony. Gluttony needs to die. Okay. Hardest part's out of the way. I we just gotta dodge rocks. 
and then move. Cause fuck that shit. I'm out. Fuck that shit. I'm out. No thanks. Fuck that shit. I'm out. Oops, the daisies. Need to get down here. I need to get the fuck out of here. Holy shit! What the fuck? Satan! You gotta not be a dick. Sometimes. Oh god, boss, please die. Thank you. That's another thing that sucks about Satan, is when he does that shit. He spawns other bosses. He spawns this one in particular, which is one I hate a lot. So now I gotta worry about Envy again. Gotta worry about Gluttony's bitch ass. But fuck that, we're going to put some shit on the field. Okay, angels. I already thought y'all fuckers once. Fucking missed the bomb. Stick to the side a little bit. My keeper run, I actually died to the second or third angel. Because I made a lot of small mistakes throughout the battle. I got hit by Mega Blast like twice. Which really hurt me. And was a dumb mistake. I uh, also moved a bit too much during some of those sequences when he fired his lasers. I moved completely. Oh, thank god. Puss into the perk. I procked. I perked. That's gonna help. Anytime Puss into procs is gonna give us one more. Or every two times the procs is gonna give us one more hit. That first time will give us one hit, period. So every odd proc will give us a hit. Move sideways in case it does the laser. Yep. Hello, Satan, my old friend. Wanna do it again? Oh, no, you wanna do that. Oh, no, you wanna do that. Oh, I just got so goddamn lucky with that. If I didn't have pretty flies, okay, he didn't spawn the third angel that time. That's kind of weird, huh? I'm not gonna complain about Satan, you dick. Hey Satan, you wanna eat some bombs? You wanna eat some fire of your own? Not a bombs. Oh well. We've got this in the bag, guys. Oh, this was interesting. This was fun. I actually haven't fought Mega Satan in a little bit. Um, by a little bit, I mean a day or two. Um, I believe my last Isaac run, that wasn't one of me trying for the boss rush, because I just did boss rush and then quit. I fought Mega Satan and beat him pretty easily because I had a really good run. I've got all hard marks on Isaac, as you saw. I actually just finished that the other day. Um... Boss Rush is actually the last one I got. This is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this attack before. And Mega Satan's done. Oh, we have now beat Mega Satan with Eden and locked another baby. We are one step closer to getting Godhead. So in this run, we managed to, and went the wrong way, beat Mom's Heart. Oh. Well, I guess I should have fought question mark, question mark, question mark since I had placenta, but oh well. We managed to beat Mega Satan, and that was the main goal, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you want more Binding of Isaac content, unfortunately I don't have any out right now. Um, when I do, there will be a annotation most likely to the playlist. There will be a link to the playlist down in the description. But you can also check out Northern Lion, um, Tear of Grace, and Huts Gaming, who I will all leave as links in the description and I will try to put annotations up as well if I remember to do so but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys again soon hopefully goodbye everyone